Hello, folks, and welcome back to The Shack. This is Joe N2DI coming to you today with the phenomenal Yaesu FT891. I'm going to start a little mini series of videos that cover settings for the FT891 because it's a very popular radio and because it has a bewildering number of settings. When you're starting out, it's hard to know what settings you need to touch and what you should leave alone. Also, my dad has recently acquired one of these rigs, so I thought a little library of videos focusing on the settings would benefit him and everyone else trying to maximize their transceiver's performance. I'm going to start this series with the rig's transmit audio settings. Adjusting your transmit audio settings is one of the most effective ways to make yourself stand out in a pileup or when you're chasing DX. There are a few settings that you need to tweak, but don't worry because I'm going to walk you through all of them and you're going to learn a ton of stuff along the way. So if that sounds good to you, then let's get started. Now first I want to explain that transmit audio settings are a little bit harder to set than receive audio settings. Transmit audio settings need to be customized to your voice, so there's no one-size-fits-all setting. Everyone's voice is different. If you have a high voice or a low voice, or if you're soft-spoken or you're a shouter, then you're going to need slightly different settings. I think I have an average voice, meaning it's not too high or low, and I usually don't whisper or shout into the mic. So I think my settings will work for most folks. But as you get more experienced and you get more feedback from folks you're having QSOs with, you can tweak these settings further to suit your own voice. I'm going to show you the settings I use so you have a jumping off point. So the point I'm trying to make here is don't get mad if these settings aren't perfect for your voice. They're going to get you close, but you may need to tweak them further. Now there are three places where you can make changes to affect your transmit audio. There is a switch on the back of your mic, and then there are shallow menu settings and deep menu settings. To get to the shallow menu, you just short press this F or function button repeatedly until you get to the menu that you want. Now in the shallow menu, you'll have shallow menu page names at the top left of the screen. This one happens to say function two. Now that's important because I'll be referring to those menu names. To get to the deep menu, long press the F or function key. In the deep menu, there are enough settings here to make your eyes roll up into your head, but each setting has a menu number that I'll be referring to. The numbers are actually two numbers separated by a dash. You can see it there. The first number is a group number, and the second number is the item number in that group. So for instance, you'll see that all the transmit EQ settings are in group 15, and each item has its own number like 15-01 or 15-02 and so on. I'll be referring to those numbers so you don't get lost. To get out of the menu, you just long press the F key. Oh, and I want to mention that these settings apply to single sideband. If you want to tweak your AM or FM settings, there are separate settings for those like your mic gain in the deep menu. So you'll see SSB mic gain, AM mic gain, and so on. I'm just going to focus on the single sideband settings to keep it simple. Okay, let's start with the mic settings. The stock mic has a switch on the back with two positions. In position one or to the left, that boosts your lows. That's the setting that you want when you're rag chewing. In position two, to the right, that boosts your highs, which is what you want when you're hunting DX or trying to bust a pileup. Now I'm going to mention here, just in case it's not obvious, these settings work for the stock mic. If you're going to buy a different mic, then these settings are probably not going to work because different microphones have different audio characteristics. So keep that in mind. Okay, now let's get into the deep menu settings. Long press the F or function key to get into the deep menu. Then you're going to want to turn the multifunction knob and scroll till you get to menu number 15 01. That's where you'll find all the transmit EQ settings. Now we're going to set 18 of these settings, so don't freak out, just follow the numbers. Most of these are set and forget unless you need to tweak them. Here you can see there's EQ1, EQ2, and EQ3 settings. EQ1 controls the lows, EQ2 controls the mids, and EQ3 controls the highs of your transmit audio EQ. This is just like the EQ setting on any audio device, like your car stereo. The only difference is this affects your transmit, not your receive. For each one of these, the lows, the mids, and the highs, you can adjust the frequency where you're going to boost or cut the audio, the level in decibels on how much you're going to boost or cut, and the bandwidth in octaves around the frequency that you'll be affecting by the booster or the cut. So knowing that makes it much easier to understand. Let's start at EQ1 frequency. You want to set that to 200 hertz. The EQ level is 10. The bandwidth is 8 octaves, and that's it for your low settings. Now for your mids, 
The frequency is 1300 hertz. The level is 5 decibels. And the bandwidth is 8 octaves. Now for your highs, the frequency is going to be 2400 hertz. The level is 7. And the bandwidth again is 8 octaves. Now the next bunch of settings are for your lows, mids, and highs for your transmit audio cue when you turn on your speech processor or your compressor. That's what the P in front of the EQ means, processor. So for your PEQ1, which is your lows, frequency is 300 hertz. The level is 10, and the bandwidth is 8. For your mids, EQ2, the frequency is 1300. The level is 5, and the bandwidth is 8. And for your highs, the frequency is 2300. The level is 7, and the bandwidth is 8. Next, let's set your mic gain. Scroll down to 1607. SSB mic gain. You're going to want to set that to 30. If you go too high, it will distort your audio. But if you're soft-spoken, you can bump this up a little. And if you shout into your mic a lot, then you can turn this down. But 30 is a good starting point. Next, scroll up to menu 1109. This is SSB TX BPF. That stands for Single Sideband Transmit Bandpass Filter. This is going to set the width of your output signal for single sideband. Mine is set to 300 at the low end and 2700 at the high end. You can adjust this if you want. Two hundred dash twenty eight hundred would be a good setting for rag chews. And three hundred dash twenty seven hundred, which I think is the default, is good for DX and busting pileups. Okay, let's get into the shadow function menu settings. Short press the F key and keep pressing it until you get to the menu labeled function two. Okay, here you'll find an important setting. It's MEQ. That stands for mic EQ. Now, until you turn this on, it's not actually applying any of those transmit audio EQ settings that we just changed in the deep menu. So turn this on. Next, we want to enable the speech processor or compressor. Press the function button until you get to menu one. Now select PRC. Now when you turn it on, it's gonna ask for a level. I have mine set to 20. Again, if you set this too high, it's gonna distort your audio. Now when you turn this on, this will add compression to your audio, which will increase your average power. That will make you stand out a little bit more and make you slightly more intelligible. Now if you're just having a rag chew, then you could just turn this off. But if you're hunting DX or trying to bust a pileup again, keep this enabled. Now to test your gain settings right out of the gate to make sure that you're not distorting your audio or clipping, you can check that by viewing your ALC. Now the ALC is the automatic level control. That's the circuitry in your transceiver that attempts to keep your transmit audio sane if you go too far with the gain setting. You can watch the graph of the ALC by going to the function two shallow menu. Select MTR. You might have to press it more than once and then go to ALC. And get out of the shallow menu. Now what normally is your S meter is your ALC meter. Now key the mic and talk into it and you want the ALC to peak somewhere above a quarter of the bar graph, but somewhere below one half. If you're above one half, then turn down your mic gain and if you're below one quarter, then turn it up. I'm going to be transmitting into a dummy load. Let's see my ALC. Check testing, one, two, one, two, check testing, one, two, one, two, check testing. So you see I peaked up there around about a half. Okay, I'm going to give you one other bonus setting that isn't specifically for your transmit audio. This one will help you when you're viewing the bar graphs on the screen. In the deep menu, go to menu 2-5. That's peak hold. Set that for two seconds. Now what that's going to do is when your bar graph is flashing different values, like when you have it set to the S meter or something like that, it will leave the peak visible for an extra two seconds so you can more easily see where the meter is peaking out. So that will help when you have your S meter turned on or your SWR or whatever you monitor. So if you turn that on before you do the ALC test, it will help. 
Now, when I'm done with my ALC setting, I normally set that back to SWR. When your monitor is set to SWR, it shows your SWR on transmit and the S meter on receive. Okay, folks, there you have it. That's how you tweak the transmit audio settings on the ASU FT891. Give it a try and you'll be surprised, especially if you're having trouble making contacts. You may have accidentally thrown off one of your settings like the mic gain. So those settings should get you pretty close to what you need. I hope that was useful, and if you have any questions, as always, please leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. So from the shack of Joe, November 2, Delta, India, I wish you all good health and good DX. 73. Bye-bye.